Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be walking you guys through how to do 1-2.2, um, the lettering and orthographic practice. Um, so you will need your sketchbook, a pencil, and a ruler. So let's go ahead and see what this assignment looks like. So what I've done is I've printed this directly from Inventor, I'm sorry, uh, Schoology, and you guys will be doing this in your sketchbook. Alright, so the first thing that you guys are going to do is you're going to be doing your lettering. I say um, to draw 12 parallel lines that are spaced one eighth of an inch apart. So what I have done, or what I am going to do, is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to be creating 12 lines going uh, vert or horizontally across my paper so that way I can write that sentence three times. Okay, so if you guys don't know how to use a ruler, that's okay, we can practice that real quick. So let's go ahead and look at the different markings on a ruler. Okay, so this is the ruler that is coming straight direct out of the um, box that I, got, that I gave you guys, the drawing kits. It's divided into se different sections. Okay, from here, from 0 to 1, you see that there's a number that says 32. I know that it's really um, out of focus, but that's because the camera's kind of old. So this is 32. From 1 to 2, it says 16. And, or, I'm sorry, from 1 to 3, it says 16. And then from 3 to 6, there's a 10. Alright? So right here between 1 and 3 are the lines that we are going to be working with. Okay, yes, we can work here, but there are a lot of lines that might get really confusing for us. So just line up your ruler up against the side of your paper or wherever. We're just going to go ahead and mark off some lines. Okay, so I'm going to put a dot right here at one, and then I'm going to count down two little lines. One, two, and that is one eighth of an inch. One, two, one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to do this 12 times. So, what was that? So I have uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, so between one and two, between the measurements on my ruler, I should have eight dots. And then I'm just going to continue down, um, down the, the line. those lines, this is where I'm going to be writing. I'm going to be writing between this line, and I'm going to be writing right here as well. So the sentence that you guys should be working with, or the sentence that you guys are going to be writing, is this sentence right here. The quick red fox jumped over the lazy brown dog. And this is actually incorrect. It should be jumps over the crazy, or the, over the lazy brown dog. This sentence is important in the English language because it uses every single letter of the alphabet. So with this one sentence, you guys can practice all of your different letters. So the quick red fox jumped over the lazy dog. So I'm just going to um, practice my letter. So. Jumps. Okay. And then I, I, I will continue this later. But 
this is just basically how you guys should be doing it. If you are having a really hard time getting your letters to fit in the one eighth of an inch, I am perfectly okay with you guys just practicing your lettering without um, without any lines. But make sure that you are trying your hardest to make them look nice and even. Okay. As long as everything is capitalized, I am happy. So, the other thing that I need you guys to worry or look at is the orthographic sketching. Orthographic sketching just basically means drawing in 2D, okay? So you see a 3D object and you guys are going to be converting the object into, the 3D object into 2D drawings. So you'll take this and we are going to draw it. Right here, you need to pay attention to this. The dimensions are in the millimeter, are in millimeters, so it's in the metric system. In the metric system, make sure that you guys are looking at the right side of the ruler. So we have on our on our ruler, we have inches, which is right here, and then if we flip it over, we have the metric system, which it says cm, which means centimeters. So every number is designating a centimeter. Well, the drawing that we are doing today says that it is in millimeters. Okay, so if it says that something is 100 millimeters, you could count each one of these little lines, but there, that there's 10 in between each centimeter, or I can just say 10, 20, 30, 40, and go all the way to 100. Okay? So the first drawing that we are doing is this one right here, and the width, the overall width, is 100 millimeters. So let me zoom out so that way you guys can see what I'm doing. So when we start to draw, just as like we were doing with the um, with the foam objects, you always want to start with this bottom corner. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a dot right here, and that signifies the bottom corner. I'll then take my ruler, and from that dot, I'm just going to really lightly draw a line straight out, okay? It's super light, we make it light so we can erase it, and then same thing. I'm just going to make a line, I'm going to make a vertical line. And they don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be exact, just as long as you are practicing this technique where you have a very light guideline going, a horizontal guideline and a very light vertical guideline. Okay, so now we can start drawing this. So make sure that you're working on with the centimeter side. And we are going to measure 100. 100 millimeters. Okay, so 100 millimeters from 0 to 100. I'm just going to go ahead and put a line there. Put a little dash right there. That's 100. I can go ahead and draw in my line. Like so. And then I'm going to go straight up. What is this dimension? Well, there's no dimension on this line, but if I look back here, I see that it is 35. So I'll just go ahead and move my uh, ruler to attach right there and draw a vertical line that is 35 millimeters or 3.5 centimeters tall. And then I just go around the sides. So I've done one, and I've drawn this line too. Now I need to put this line in, 25. So I'm just going to line up my ruler right there on 25 millimeters and draw a horizontal line. So that one is taken care of, this one's done, and this one's done. And then, well, there's no dimension here, okay? So I'm going to move over here. And give myself some information or give my 
also uh, figure it out. Okay. So over here, we see that it's 25 millimeters tall. And I'm just going to draw in that line right there. And I have drawn that line. Okay. Now this line right here doesn't have a dimension, but we are going to use simple math to figure it out. If our overall width is 100, which it says right here, and we have 25, we subtract it, we end up with 75. Okay, so 75. If we subtract 50, what do we get? We get 25. So this line right there is 25. So it's just simple deduction, simple math. And I'm just going to draw a line that is 25. Okay, so once you have that, then I'm going to draw in this line. Well, it tells me that my overall height from the bottom, so from our bottom line, that first line that we drew, to the very top is 60. So, I'm just going to turn my ruler, line up my 60, or my 6, right there, make sure that I'm right there, and draw a line straight down, and there is my And then I can go ahead and finish the shape. So here, I see that it's 50. And I'm going to go ahead and draw in that. So I have that line and this line. And I'm just missing this last line right there. And as soon as we draw this in, at 25, this front view is complete. Okay. So basically, I just drew this whole front view, this upside down T shape. Now we gotta do the top view. Well, the top view is gonna be pretty easy to draw. Everything is the same distance or the same depth. Okay, we see that the depth is 40. So 40 here, 40 there, 40, 40, 40, 40. So it's just gonna be one big rectangle. So I'm just going to take my ruler. Actually, I'm going to take my ruler this way and I'm going to line up my ruler on every vertical line that I drew. And I'll just do a really light guideline there, a really light guideline here, and a really light guideline here. Okay? And then now I can go ahead and draw in this line that will be 100 millimeters long. Oops. And I extended it past. That's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to draw 40 millimeters. So I'm just going to take my ruler, line it up right there, measure back or measure up 40, and draw in that, line it up on 100, measure this, line up that, and I just made my big rectangle that signifies my top view. And now I just have to draw these lines in darker that represent the edges that I would see if I were to hold this in real life and look at it from straight above. And top view complete. Now we're going to move to the side view. So same thing that I did with the top view. I'm just going to draw really light guidelines. Like that. Then I can go ahead and draw in. I just want to make sure that this is all nice and even. There we go. Draw in this line. That's going to be 60 tall because from the top or from the bottom to the top it's 60. So 60 tall. And I need to put in my depth over here. And I know that my depth is 40. I also know that it's 40 from this side. So I'll just put line this up over here. Put a mark. This 
line that signifies this edge, if I were holding it in real life and turned it to just look at the right side view, this is what I would see. So there we go. We have done number one. I want you guys to label this um, just number one in your sketchbook. Uh, you can even put um, one dash 2.2 orthopactus. And I'm happy. So that way when you guys see it, you know what assignment this goes to. So your job is to go ahead and finish the rest of the shapes. Number two, it's in inches. Number three is in inches. And number four is in inches. If you guys need help with anything, just go ahead and let me know, and I will do my best to help you. Um, those of you that are at home, I hope that this video helped you and that you were able to complete today's assignment. Those of you in class, you can always raise your hand, and I will come over and I will help you. Thanks, guys.